Hey, Cindy. I can't hear you. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. I can't hear you. All right, there's somebody. Hi, uh, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Yeah. All right. I don't. Am I on the video too? You're on the video too. Okay. <laughs> Driving in my car. You're down in the Florida. I'm driving to Key West right now because our relatives are on their way here from uh, Boston. Who are going to pick them up? So, okay. is it just us? Who's in this meeting? Well, we're going to try to keep it short. You keep cutting in and out on me. Did I mute myself? Do you hear noise? As long as you can and hear us, I would say, you know, I mean, but you just keep cutting out. That's all. I, you're, you're in and out. Right. Um, I'm going to mute myself and just listen. And if I have something to add, I'll, I'll put it in. Okay. I, yeah, I just... I'd like, okay. I would just request that we stay very on point and not get. Yeah, you no, know, it's and it's recorded and it's going to go up on the town website. So we're we're not right. going to do dally here. We're just going to get right down to business. Thank you. I don't I don't think Gay is going to make it today, but. Who's Ed? Hello, Ed. Hello, Ed. Hello. <clears throat> We're just waiting for a couple more people here. We can get started.
I'm building a Stratocaster as we speak. <laughs> what? I'm building a Stratocaster oh, as we yeah, speak. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to multitask. <laughs> yeah, sorry to hear about your brother. Oh, well, yeah, it, I'm telling you, it was, there's more than just that. It, um, I'll tell you more later. It is, it's crazy what's going on. I'm, it's very, very complicated. And of course, you know, I'm not there. Yeah, I hadn't seen him in a long time, but he and I did readings together at St. Mark's Church. And yeah. we, were, we were pretty close there for a while, you know, because I, yeah. I held a, some of the first comic art exhibitions at my bookstore. And uh, so I knew uh, him not only as a poet, but as a yeah. artist. They're going to do a big, uh, they're interviewing people now up in Vermont for NPR, for Vermont Public Radio. They're going to do a retrospective on, I didn't realize he was like, I mean, he was my brother, but apparently he's like, this really big shot in the Star Wars world and right, you know, right. So yeah, I saw that yeah. announcement. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's hard to stay close to people, you know, over decades. But we were close during the 1960s. Uh, we and we gave a mem memorable reading together at the St. Mark's Poetry Project in the yeah. fall of 1972 when we blasted Nixon, you know, who was, who is, the Watergate was just surfacing at right about the fall of 72. Yeah. So I had, a, I wrote a poem especially to trash Nixon and, and your brother was there too, uh, reading and so. It was right around that time I, I came down and spent some time with him. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he, he took me to uh, uh, the Fillmore East and I saw traffic and airport convention and Mata Hoople and, yeah. and I was like 15 or 16. I, I mean, it just, it changed my life, you know, so. Yeah, he was a, a stalwart friend of mine during those years. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I have some of his uh, mimeographed books of poetry in my archive. Yeah. Anyway, I'll miss him. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We will all miss him. He's still oh, present. I'm sorry. Somewhere. Yeah. I missed the first part, but I assume your brother passed away. My oldest brother did. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. And it all happened while we were away. We were in Florida. So it just, you know, you get it. But anyway, um, it's complicated. It's very complicated. Yeah, well, you can fill me in later. I yeah, I will. Uh, we should probably get started. Uh, Bennett, maybe we'll be popping in here at some point. Uh, I'll put my Stratocaster over here for now. And uh, uh, so, look, we got we got a bunch of things on on the agenda. I, I want to move right through quickly. We're being recorded, and the tape is going to go up on the town website because I really want the public involved with this particular uh, going forward with the tree committee, because we're gonna, we're gonna start working uh, hopefully with some money. Uh, there's a grant uh, called the ARP, which is related to the uh, COVID relief. And uh, apparently the town of Woodstock is getting $500,000. Wow. And uh, Bennett, uh, Ratcliffe, the new town board member who is our liaison, uh, he he brought it up at the last town board meeting and uh, they have invited uh, all the different committees to uh, submit proposals for money. Now, some of the money of the 500,000 is already earmarked uh, for stuff, but there is money and I don't think the tree committee really needs much money uh, to be very effective with planting trees. So um, so I just wanted to alert you to that. There's an application. Uh, he, uh, Bennett has offered 
uh, the tree committee assistance in filling that out. I was hoping he would be at the meeting today. Maybe he'll show up a little bit later uh, to give us a little more uh, explanation. But um, uh, I guess what I want us to be thinking about as a committee is how much money do we want to request? And, uh, and I think it's a one-time deal and it's separate from actually making a request to the town board again, like we did last year uh, for a line item. So this would be separate outside of having a line item. And I would like, I'd like everybody to kind of start thinking of what the line item is gonna look like. Last year, we asked them for a thousand dollars. We didn't get it. They didn't give us any money. Uh, oh. I never got, never got an explanation, I, you know, so. But the, Michael, the, the planning board is uh, uh, coming up with, uh, recommendations for changing the scenic overlay district rules and sure. I've been working with Connor Wink on the uh, zoning revision committee to, to put those into place and yep. the planning board is willing to ask and to have a, a line item for the for the tree committee to okay. weigh in on on uh, cutting issues in the scenic overlay district so okay. So we, we should uh, get this guy, what's his name, Bennett? Bennett Ratcliffe. He's yeah, Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe. Yeah, yeah, he seems to be a good guy. Get him on board uh, yeah. voting on a, on a line item for working mm -hmm. with the planning board on tree issues. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then I've secondly, for, sure. for trees, we should ask for $25,000 and uh, keep it as a fund. And then when a, when a tree needs to be replaced in town, we'll have a fund that of our own free will, instead of waiting for Bill McKenna to okay it, we can okay right. it. You, we can vote as a committee to yep. spend from this fund. That way we'll have a fund that can get into action. We might have to hire uh, legal opinion on something. So you, now, would be... the, the planning board and I, I, I attended the last meeting and Connor, you know, presented the scenic overlay rule changes. And I think everybody's on board. Everybody supports what, what you and Connor came up with. Okay. Um, I asked him how it was going to be paid for. And he said that uh, the users or the, the applicants would pay but he also said that the fines, the money from the fines would be, uh, the plan is to kind of segregate the fine money and establish a fund, uh, you know, with the money that's collected in fines that will be used by the planning board to offset some of that uh, scenic overlay stuff. So uh, wow. I, I think we should also ask now, you know, when a tree gets cut down illegally here in town, there's supposed to be a thousand dollar fine. I, I think we should request that any fines collected be put into a dedicated fund so that they go back into trees. Definitely. Uh, it, yeah, but is there any funds ever collected? Well, I think we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna have a big test case because Bearsville, uh, which is also on the agenda, uh, I did a site visit uh, at least 10 trees um, are legally regulated by the town. Uh, they were mature and uh, I don't believe they brought in an arborist. I don't believe there's anything in writing that says X tree was sick and deadly and had to come down. Um, so there's at least 10 trees and possibly more. The stumps are still in the ground. And these trees uh, needed to be approved for removal by the town board. And apparently they were not. Uh, so um, it's going to be a test case. And I think, uh, I, you know, I, I've, I've talked with Laura Ricky about this just in the last couple of days. Uh, I've talked with Bennett. Uh, I believe there's support on the town board uh, to kind of uh, start enforcing the tree law. Uh, in a way that it hasn't been enforced in the years. Well, so, so I That's guess, good. well, I think from what you're saying, there's, there's no uh, punishment for anybody ever levied. Not, right? to this, 
not to this point, but I think we're at a so, we're at a juncture. Yeah. So we're hoping that money will be derived from future cases. And and the first we're starting case with Bears, Bears will start with Bears. Yeah. Now, what about the um, extension of the footage in from the road that we want to become? you know, <laughs> town trees that are regulated. Uh, is that moving forward? Because that would also increase the fines a lot. Uh, well, I think that that is separate from the scenic overlay changes that- uh, Right, that's right. On. So I think we're gonna have to have our own separate uh, proposal for the town board um, and you know, I'm, I'm all in favor of it, as you know, and, and I've been circulating some tree laws uh, from other New York state communities where basically you can't cut down any tree in town. Uh, wow. Irving, Irvington, uh, New York, for example, has a great tree law where uh, any tree in the town within, you know, over eight inches, I believe it is, has to be approved by three members of the tree committee. Three oh my members, God. Do you you know, have, I, maybe we could get them to do that. That would be great. I think incrementally, I think we start, you know, we start with the uh, memorial tree funding. We start with this ARP grant, the $25,000 uh, number. I mean, it sounds big, but really it's not. When, right. you, when you start talking about planting trees in sidewalks, it's, you know, it's three, four, five thousand dollars to pop a tree. Yeah. In. So, um, and I'm saying this just for the public who may be tuning into this recording. Um, we know this, but but they may not. So, um, all right. So, so that sounds like a plan um, that um, we will submit an application. Everybody okay with a twenty five thousand yes. shoot for the moon and see what happens? Yeah. I do. I do have. I do have one uh, thought. I know you said think about what sort of things you would want, but I'm just going to throw it out there, and we don't necessarily have to discuss it uh, thoroughly now. But um, this ARP money, I don't know if it's more. I, I sort of got the feeling it was more for infrastructure type things, but. What about um, the possibility of getting funding to do uh, a tree survey, a tree inventory for the town? Is that, I'm just floating that out there as an idea. Okay. Because we've, you know, tried a bunch of times to get the grants from the um, mm -hmm. EEP, whatever the grants were, um, and we haven't yeah. been successful there. So just tossing it out as a thought. Okay. Um, and I do hope, I mean, the thing, the thing that, our, that Woodstock needs the most is a stronger, a strong, uh, comprehensive tree law, which we don't, do not have. I don't feel like we have a, a very strong tree law at all right now. And then um, we need real enforcement. We're not even, you know, so this Bearsville thing, I'm hoping it's going to be a, a test we've had a clear violation of the weak law that we have and i really hope to that we are able to see some enforcement because if we don't have that if we don't have that sort of support um from it's the town officials and the town laws then then you know it doesn't yeah. matter how many trees we plant it's a waste of time so just right. keep chopping them down yeah. as fast as we can plant them the other thing is i think part of the law should be, you know, some people uh, like the owner of the Bearsville property are so wealthy that uh, practically no amount of fines that we could levy would mean anything. It's just the cost of doing business. And so I think there has to be a part of the uh, law that says that they have to replant them. And I mean, not little hundred dollar trees that are like little wispy things. I mean, Go to that upper layer of Augustine's where they have big trees and that's what has to be put in and she has to remove the stumps, the roots and fix the soil and replace the regulated trees that were removed. Now, just 
so everybody knows the environmental commission is also on this case they're um they are upset about the clear cutting that went on out there um i'm calling it clear cutting because it's well over an acre and that state law is uh, one acre is cons uh, uh, if you cut every tree on one acre that's considered a clear cut um, there are some discrepancies, just so everybody knows, there are discrepancies between the site plan that was approved by the planning board and the actual uh, footprint of the cutting. Uh, they're not, they're, they're two different things. Yes, that's um, right. So something, there's some explaining or whatever that needs to be done. Um, and I'm hoping uh, that the, um, you know, I believe we've got the support on the town board right now to get to the bottom of this whole thing. It may come back before planning board, um, but uh, something is not right. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, it's not just us, it's not just the tree committee, but there are a lot of people in town uh, pretty upset about this. And of course, I'm in Florida, or I was in Florida, and I was getting one or two phone calls a day uh, emails <laughs> from people, just random people that got contacted me off the town website saying what's going on out there, you know. So um, a lot of people very upset about it. And uh, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, Ed? Well, two things. <clears throat> to go back to an earlier topic, um, Gay Lenhardt and I have formed a subcommittee to come up with a better text than the one I prepared for an update for the tree law. And we can take into account the expanding from 20 feet to 40 feet or 50 feet from, from the roadside. And we can add all kinds of things, including the working for the planning board. <clears throat> so anybody who's got any ideas should send an idea mail to me. I'll, or, I'll send gay, you. Or, or gay or the whole committee, just so I yeah. get it and gay gets it and we can blend yeah. it into our work. I'll, I'll send you the copy of Irvington's uh, tree log, okay. which is pretty, pretty tough, I'm telling you. And uh, if we can get something like that or even half of that. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, yeah, we'll be and then another issue, <clears throat> the issue of the tree uh, clear cutting at the Bearsville. I've had a long conversation with the owner of this uh, property and she is uh, <clears throat> very concerned about her public image. You know, she was a very successful or owner of an organic baby food company and she right. sold it. But she's also purchased the building where the former photography center, the old uh, yeah. oh FA Expresso she owns now. So she's she's oh. got a lot of, well, I know from talking to her, she's very concerned about public image because if if it, if uh, if the public turns sour on the Bearsville complex, nobody the 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 attendance at their concerts will drop off, and they they have to have a good public image. Otherwise, they will not. You know, they have all kinds of eating facilities there now. Yeah. Uh, so I know that she is very sensitive to public opinion because uh, the way she threw out uh, the owner of the Little Bear uh, yeah. Chinese restaurant, I, that's what I complained about to her, you know. Yeah. And so she, I think if we apply pressure on her, you know, like a, a blast, a press release from the tree committee, blasting it, you know, she'll, and demanding uh, that she, like what she said, pull out the stumps and replace with a, a large tree from Augustine, you know, not just a seedling, yeah. you know, we don't want little. Or or she's going to have to cough up, you know, a thousand dollars per tree, right. which you right. know, there's at least 10 trees yeah. regulated, possibly more. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it, it is a big chunk. I mean, it's not, I mean, I, I think we could replant a number of trees, good sized trees uh, with that. Um, I think I think it's going to cost way more than a thousand per tree if she has to do <laughs> root stump removal and replenishing of uh, nice organic soil and the tree and planting it, care for it, etc. Maintenance. Yeah. It's going to be way more than a thousand, I mm -hmm. think. See, um, 
Go ahead. Ed. Well, she could have been victimized by a tree. You know, they're, they're totally hungry for wood, the lumber business. So yeah. the tree, trees like those trees on Chestnut Hill Road, I'm sure, uh, were harvested to sell oh, yeah. or commercially. Well, and right. so they, these have probably disappeared into a, a, a log truck and taken off to a lumber mill. You know? one, one idea I had, which is, and I don't know who sends the letter. Uh, somebody's at my door. <laughs> who is this? <laughs> Hold on. I don't even know who, oh, it's an old friend of mine. Um, one idea I had was that either the tree committee or the town sends a letter to every one of the tree companies that does business in Woodstock, reminding them there is a tree law at them and putting them on notice that if they're gonna come in and take down regulated trees, that they may also be liable for penalties because they are aware of and familiar with the town law. They can't say they don't, didn't know there was a town law. Um, so you mean you mean the people who cut the trees, not the, the tr actual, a wood the mill, actual companies. like Limber and, or something? Yeah. Well, okay. now some of the some of the companies are very conscientious. They're very aware. They're very uh, a, a, attentive and attuned to what's going on. Others don't care. And what we got to make sure is that everybody has the same information, including the ones who don't care, uh, so that they don't show up and just start cutting down trees that uh, are regulated. They, they and, and you know, I, this is something for the town board also, if we can, uh, if we can create some sort of a penalty for the tree companies that are hired and that take down these trees with the full knowledge that they're taking down trees illegally without permission of the town board. It, it's complicated, but I, I think we can get it. I think we can get through this. Um, so, you know, it's all- Yeah, I said limber, but I think they're one of the conscientious ones. They're very conscientious. They're re they're great, but yeah. so, you're right. Some of the others aren't. No, uh, we won't name names, but- uh, No, right. sorry but I said that, but- The last thing on our agenda- I like them. The last thing on the agenda I wanna wrap up with this, and that's the Memorial Tree uh, situation. Um, they're gonna bring a, a resolution forward at the next town board meeting, I believe, uh, for the planting of memorial trees in the name of David Gross, Jerry Washington, Don Gregorius, uh, and Michael uh, Lang, and that um, we are gonna be asked for locations uh, of where these trees might be planted. And we are also going to be uh, writing a letter to the editor publicizing this. They have a dedicated fund for memorial trees, so people can make donations. And uh, I just want to, you know, if somebody can get back to me, maybe Cindy or Gay or Carol, you know, if you're looking around, if you've got some spots already picked out, let me know before the town board meeting on March 8th so that I can speak to it uh, in support of the resolution and also say, you know, here's where we want to plant the memorial trees. Uh, Bennett uh, Radcliffe also wants to create a walking tour of Woodstock trees uh, so that uh, people who want to find the Michael Lang Memorial Tree will have a map and wherever we plant it, they'll have a map that shows them where it is so that they can go and visit it and so forth. So uh, these are I all- I got an idea. How about the Lutheran church? <laughs> <laughs> right on Main Street. Was he a Lutheran? Yeah, right. How Michael, could they refuse was, that? <laughs> was Michael, a, no, was Michael Lang a Lutheran? <laughs> I don't know, but okay. maybe anyway, one of them was. Uh, these are all so projects. These are all projects that we've had on our burner. And I'm just happy to report that it feels like town board, new blood, it feels like we've got some support going forward. Laura Ricky is very supportive of our work and Bennett seems very supportive. I think, uh, I think they're all supportive. So um, there's some initiative. And uh, so uh, Ed, uh, you get back to me. Uh, I'll get you a copy of Irvington Town uh, right. Trail. You get yes. back to me with, with, 
what you got hopefully in, in before March 8th, that would be a nice time to present that as well. Um, we can approve it by email. You know, we can send the copies around, drafts around. They're gonna wanna probably change things. But, and then if uh, uh, Cindy and Carol and Gay um, could, can let me know some spots where you wanna put trees, what kind of trees. Uh, we've got four, hopefully four coming in time for spring for Arbor Day. And, uh, and then uh, on the issue of uh, Bearsville, uh, it's an ongoing situation. Um, uh, we, uh, I'll, I'll keep everybody informed uh, by email what's happening there. The $25,000 uh, grant request, I think we should do that in writing. And, and, uh, you, and, and you should say in the request that it's, that's, uh, it's a fund to, to uh, replace trees and and build and plant trees and and repair trees, and, yeah. they, and, and and trees are part of the urban landscape, and that's part of the infrastructure. And you know, I can include all the language about how good trees are within the urban footprint uh, and what they what they provide. So I think we'll pass the infrastructure test on this. Um, so, provided we keep them in the you know, in the hamlet or, you know, within the kind of business area, I think we'll, I think we're going to be okay. Chamber of Commerce building, uh, that whole area, Gay has expressed an interest in including that possibly in the grant request that we uh, uh, complete the landscaping there and plant a few more trees to replace the ones that we're going. Can I, yeah. can I just say one thing about that? I, I'm, I'm super happy to recommend appropriate trees for the right spot. We, we seem to have an issue with people who have um, gotten away with not regarding the tree ordinance and now those trees are gone yeah. and they won't let us plant. Like in that tree ordinance, it says if you chop down a tree without permission, yeah. that, the, that according to the ordinance, that the town tree committee has the right to specify what trees should be replaced. And I yep. can name a pile. I won't I won't hear on this meeting, but I can name a bunch of places that we would like to replace a tree that the okay. owner of the property will not let us uh, okay. replace it with, with a lake tree. Okay. So again, it's it's a situation where our tree ordinance is not being honored. Okay. Um all right, I'll need that list. I'll need that list too, along with, along with where you want to plant. I mean, maybe some of those spots okay. can be, can be used to plant new trees, uh, memorial trees. Okay. So, Jimmy, I mean, when are you do, coming oh, yeah. back? When um, are you coming back? I, my, my, my physical self will be back in Ulster County uh, in the beginning of April. Um, right. But I'm, I'm available. I'm riding in the back of my car right now in Key West. To pick up the people, see the ocean. Great. Okay, I, so, I think anyway, we're good. Uh, this uh, this meeting will be posted to YouTube, um, and uh, Gay will be able to watch it uh, and comment. So and Bennett. So think of the most opportune places to plant trees. That right now the property owners are not allowing us to do that. Right? Yeah, we'll need that list. Yep. Yeah. Okay, anything else? We're good? I think that was it. Okay. Okay. Hey, Thank thanks. You. Bye. 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 Talk, talk to you thanks soon. Thanks for coming. Thanks, you okay. too. Yeah. Bye bye. All right, that was good timing.